What's up, horror fans? Welcome to What the Fuck Did Sir Sturdy Just Watch? You gotta tune in to find out. What's up, horror fans? It's your boy, Sir Sturdy. I'm here with another fun video. But before I get into what's behind me and what this video is going to be called, I want to welcome all the new members to the group. Thank you for joining. Welcome you with open arms. Feel free to share anything and anything horror-related in this awesome, amazing group, including your own projects. Yes, including your own projects. I'll tell you about all my other stuff where you can find me and all that cool stuff at the end of the video. But I just want to welcome you guys all to the video and thank you again for joining. Now, really quick, what these videos are going to be called is, wait for it, drum roll please, what the fuck did Sir Sturdy just watch? Now, I came up with this name, no, I didn't. My co-host slash my good friend James did. I said, Sir Sturdy's Cheese Fest. What do you think about that? He's like, that sounds cool. I like it. But then he's like, yo, what if you called it, what the fuck does Sir Sturdy just watch? And that doesn't mean these movies are bad. It's just, it's going to be movies like this. These type of movies where it's just, you know, it's not going to be Friday the 13th. Like, you know, no Halloween, none of that. No Nightmare on Elm Street. The Thing. All those type of movies. It's not going to be shit like this behind me. So, yeah, let's get into it. Really quick, I know you guys can see this awesome knife over here. Horror with Sir Sturdy. I'll see you in your nightmares. I won this from 1428th Street. Go check them out on Facebook. I believe they're on Instagram as well. And get a knife from them. They do some custom knives. It doesn't have to be horror related. That's just what I wanted. I wanted my own custom knife for my, you know, my... Me, for Search 30. So, yeah. Definitely go check them out. Dope shit. Now into this. What the fuck did Search 30 watch? <laughs> and these were all today. All three of these movies were today. I'll start off with the first movie I watched, which was Rubber. And, I mean, fun movie. I've been actually meaning to watch this movie for like the past year and a half to two years, honestly. And I could not find it. And I finally found it on um, Amazon. They have something called uh, Monsters and Nightmares. You know how like Amazon has like extra, which I will throw like a little logo for you guys in the video. I should have had it in the background, but I'll throw a little logo in the video for you guys. But it's called Monsters and Nightmares. And it's... um. It's like $3 a month. It's $2.99 a month. You get a seven-day free trial, which I just signed up for today, but I know I'm going to keep it. And it just has a bunch of horror movies like this. And a guy like me enjoys horror movies like this. So I was like, why not? I was looking for rubber for a long time. And I didn't want to rent it. I didn't want to buy it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just find it on. Boom. I found it on this app, on this thing connected with Amazon. It's worth it. Again. Excuse me. Definitely check that out. I think you guys will really, really, really enjoy it. And I'll post the logo here somewhere with the correct, you know, the correct logo, the correct name. But yeah, so Rubber. Out of these three movies, the way I'm going to do this um, is I'm going to tell you guys, I'm not going to really discuss the movies too much. I don't want to spoil the movies. I don't want to give you a review. I'll tell you my favorite of the three. I will tell you my favorite of the three as far as the movie goes and my favorite of the three as far as the um, the cover art. Excuse me. And I'll do it one, two, three, you know, like in order. So I'll start with Rubber. Favorite of the three as far as movies go and as far as 
as far as covers, I'll let you know at the end, but this was definitely the favorite of the three of the movies go. I was more entertained by this movie. Like I said, I've been wanting to watch this movie for the past two years, year and a half to two years, probably two years. And it was worth the wait for me. Like it really was as cheesy as this fucking movie was. It was very entertaining for myself. It was just, it's one of the, it's one of those movies. Actually, I'll say all three of these movies are those type of movies. You kind of turn your brain off. You don't expect much from them. You're not expecting a movie like The Thing. You're not expecting a movie like Jaws. You're not expecting a masterpiece at all. You're expecting like an entertaining, fun shit show, a cheese fest, or, you know, why the fuck did I watch that? What the fuck did I just watch type of movie? And that's what these were. They definitely all live up to these standards. But I think out of the three, this one was definitely the best. All right. Followed by this one right behind me, which I will post something in the beginning before I start yammering on so you guys can kind of see what this poster actually looks like. But it's Attack of the Killer Donuts. This is the second movie I watched. And it was actually my second favorite of the three. And, I mean, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I, uh... I'm gonna say something here that some people, a lot of people may say, what the fuck? This guy's crazy. It's reanimator-esque as far as a serum that's making things come back to life or to life. And you'll see why if and when you watch the movie. And with these, I say to... If... Yeah, I say these as far as um, come to life and back to life. If you watch the movie, you'll see why. But these, awesome. It was a fun movie. It wasn't the greatest, of course, but I'm not looking for that. I was just looking for something fun, cheesy, shit show. This is... Yes, this was the second favorite movie of mine. I had a good time with it. I mean, it kind of made me want. It kind of made me want to eat some donuts. And I think on my next cheat day, I'm gonna have to eat some, go to Dunkin' Donuts and eat some fucking donuts. I'm being dead serious with you guys. And like, I say cheat day because I I do keto now. I know most of you don't care, but I'm just saying I do keto now, so I only eat shitty either on a Saturday or a Sunday. So one of these days, I'm gonna have to go to Dunkin' Donuts and get a dozen donuts and just have a good time. But yeah, this was the second best movie out of the three. I feel like this one was just going back to rubber real quick. I feel like this one was just like up. Okay, if I was to do it like this, rubber was here, Attack of the Kill Donuts was about here, and then we go to this one <laughs> Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. This one here was just, um, again, it belongs on this list. I just didn't really care for it too much. Like these two right here and right here, I would watch them outside of a podcast. You know what I mean? Like what I'm, and I'll tell you why I said that in a minute, but I would watch these two outside of a podcast. Again, this one right here, not so much. I am going to watch the sequel tomorrow, but I wouldn't rewatch this movie unless I was doing a podcast on it. I just didn't really care for it too much. It was, it was, it wasn't horrible. I've seen worse. I mean, I watched fucking Blood Lake, and that was way worse than all three of these movies. And this was my worst one, so I'll say it was way worse than Blood Lake. So, it's gonna beat Blood Lake. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was. I don't know. It, it just didn't really. It held my attention to an extent. But not to the point of where I'm just like, oh, shit, like, this is a really fun movie. Like, I got to watch this again. All three of the movies had their funny moments. And I feel like, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, this one right here, the sing there was singing in it. That bothered me. I don't like singing in my horror movies too, too much. As far as where it's, like, kind of like a musical type. I don't care if it's, like, you know, Friday the 13th, part five. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. That was dope. But with this one, it just, nah, it didn't do it for me. But uh, what I'm getting at is, um, yeah, so obviously this is my third worst. Now it's time to do the covers. My favorite cover was, bam, Attack of the Killer Donuts. I think this is an awesome fucking movie cover. And again, I'll be posting it here. I'll probably post it on the, like, when I'm doing the, matter of fact, when I do the movie cover things too, I'm saying it out loud. 
I'm posted like right in front of me or right beside me or something just so you guys can see it, see it, but you'll see it, you know, but you'll see it when I'm writing it as far as just for the covers, not for the favorite movies, just for the covers. But Attack of the Killer Donuts by fucking far. Like if I was to give that cover a rating, I'd give it a 10. I love the cover of this movie. I think it's amazing. I think it's awesome. I think it's really, really creative and it's just real cool. The colors go, they mesh so well together and it's, it's damn near perfect. Damn near perfect. Now, these two are a toss-up. It's kind of tough for me. It really is. And just because of nostalgia's sake for myself, and I'll explain this in a second, I remember back in the day, me and my younger brother, Christian, used to watch a cartoon called Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Something like that. So I'm going to give Attack of the Killer Tomatoes number two on this list of covers. This is a cool cover. It's simple, and yes, I'll get used to point and shit. It's a simple, cool cover, but it's, it's just cool. It reminds me of the cartoon. It might even be the cartoon cover. I don't know. I said movie poster, but I like this cover a lot. I think it's cool. It looks cooler than the tomatoes in the movie. And then, last but not least, rubber. This is a fucking awesome-ass cover, too. You have a tire with blood on it and a bunch of dead bodies and police following it. Awesome fucking cover. Again, these two are very... These two, for me, are interchangeable. But just for nostalgia's sake and watching the cartoon back in the day with my younger brother, I'm going to pick this one for number two. And, hey, man, that's my first video of What the Fuck the Surf 30 Watch. Be on the lookout for What the Fuck the Surf 30 Watch part two tomorrow. Or number two. I have no idea yet. But, yes. And that'll be... Hopefully three different movies. And let's hope that they have awesome covers and they're entertaining. But I'm also hoping for a shit show. I'm really hoping for a shit show at the same time. I am looking for a movie that is worse than Blood Lake. That's going to be hard as hell. I have my reasons, but I'm looking for a movie that's worse than Blood Lake. Again, thank you all for watching. Fans that joined the group. Thank you so much for joining the group. I welcome you guys with open arms again. Enjoy the group. Feel free to share anything and everything horror-related in the Horror Research 30 Facebook group. I have a Horror Research 30 Facebook page that's specifically for the podcast and updates as far as what you know what myself is going to be doing or my brother. He's an admin and stuff like that. So, yeah, what we're going to be doing as far as when cons come up and all that good stuff. And the podcast, as I said, random videos will be in both. Um... Twitch, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. Give that a look. I'll be back on there hopefully in uh, two weeks from this weekend. I'll be back on Twitch with my game capture card and all that fun stuff. So you guys will be able to see me, watch me game and all this fun stuff too. And I'll be talking random horror stuff, so don't even worry about that. What else do I have for you guys? Um... As far as YouTube goes, Horror Research 30, follow me on YouTube. Anybody listen to podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Joe Budden's leaving, but I'm not. Anywhere, anywhere you can listen to podcasts, you should be able to hear me. And if you ever want to be on a podcast with me, shoot me an email, horrorwithsir.sturdy. Again, that's horrorwithsir.sturdy at gmail.com. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. As always... I'll see you in your nightmares. Hang on, I'm going to do this one up for you. Oh, shit. Fuck it. Drink some bitches. Peace.